Alright, what's up guys? We are out on an adventure today. I am buying out yeah, the ADV 150. Yeah, I think this one's too steep. And it turned out it was too steep. I was right. I got stuck and I needed to be rescued. Uh -oh, well, boop. A little bit lost. Alright, what's up guys? We are out on an adventure today. I am trying out the ADV 150. Uh, it's just like the ADV 160, but a little bit smaller. We've just come out here into some national parks and I'm just cruising around, don't really know where I'm going. Um, it's also the second time that I've ridden this bike, so it was a little bit loose because I'm not very good at riding bikes. That's why I've got a lot of safety equipment on. Well, let's go look at this little guy. Alright, you've probably been seeing a lot of these. I bought it second hand a little while ago, so it's a little bit new to me. I've just got world's oldest GPS tracking there because I am quite often geographically embarrassed and that's just on normal roads. And it's got our little quad lock there. It's pretty good at holding my phone. I'm going to try and... It's also got this handy little catch here that holds your helmet. There is heaps of space under here. Got my little man bag, camera stuff, first aid kit, little pump. Got some spare fuel in there, just near my muesli bar. That's hygienic. Got my fat shake and some water. It's been a pretty fun trip so far. We've just gone down some funny little tracks. Uh, I was a bit worried on some of the steep ones where it didn't seem like it was going to get up there, but it did the job, and so now I'm avoiding super steep tracks. Uh, it's pretty dry today, so I think I'll be okay with the tyres that are on there. They're still the stock tyres, and it's about two years old now, this bike. As I was coming out here, an adventure rider gave me a wave, so must look a little bit like a bike, just smaller. What I'll try and do now is uh, just go for a little bit of a ride. All right. So hopefully you can hear me. I've um, misplaced my GoPro, so we'll be rolling with my phone. Hopefully it doesn't flip out of the really cheap hold of it it's in right now. Kablam. I don't know why the ABS light's on. We didn't leave anything. Just while we're mooching around out here on the tracks, I'll show you a few little things that I'm really enjoying about the scooter. First of all would have to be how much space is underneath the seat there's there's ample room to fit an open face helmet you can fit two three bags of shopping in there i also like the handholds at the back because you can strap down different things like i strapped down a fuel jerry here so i could top up my boat this is kind of cool in here all the scenery sort of changed into these nice ferns we had a uh, few we had some big bushfires here in australia a few years back and uh, this whole area got cooked as you can see the bark on the trees is uh, in a darkened state still but it's really coming back i've been doing a lot of fishing from the scooter it just seems really fun you get out early in the morning i go squidding i get up early and i um, manage to fit all my gear in there fit my little travel rod and uh, pick up a few squid and then get back for the day to start While we're scooting around here, I'll just tell you about the time, my last little trip out, and it was when I hit the design limitations of my scooter. So basically what happened was its natural enemy is any large ruts and also any soft, uh, soft dirt or soil. And soon as it gets into a hill with some soft soil, it pretty much fails to go anywhere, which is bad if you've gone down a really steep hill or you're in a gully and then you can't make it out. 
and that's what happened to me. Um, lucky I was able to turn around and then I followed out some little goat track and um, made it out of the bush. So next time I'll just be going out on tracks that I've um, gone on a little recce with my uh, e-bike and hopefully I won't get stuck out there. But it, it really is, it's just a great little scooter to pump around on the trails but within its design limits. Um, some of the tracks that I was going onto were verging on really needing a uh, real bike. The real difference from this ADV and the PCX would probably be uh, how they've pushed it out there and their branding, um, but it's still really great with the uh, little bit extra suspension travel and um, it's just a really fun little nimble bike, but just it's fun to ride. I look forward to jumping on it, going down the shops or taking it on little missions. And uh, yeah, if you're looking at one of these, I don't think they make the 150 anymore, but they make the 160. If you're looking at one of them, um, I would yeah, definitely pull the trigger. Um, it's just a, a really good way to um, take a little bit of time away from the screen and just feel some freedom. Yeah, hope you enjoy. I'll put on some tunes and watch your way. I'll do a few more little missions uh, like this. I'm going to film a little fishing mission coming up soon, and uh, hopefully you guys will watch out. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, we're gonna swing another U-burner because I think it's steep by the look of this little guy. So let's head around and uh, head back. All right, guys, as I bumble my way up this hill, I just want to let you know um, when I was rescued, when I got stuck on the side of a hill, the guy popped up in a four-wheel drive and he noticed that I was in a spot of bother and it turned out, uh, luckily, that he had ridden bikes quite a bit and he knew what to do. So I was stuck at a 45 on a hill. I couldn't go backwards and I couldn't go forwards because my back wheel was bogged and it went off into an edge. And it turns out you just needed to turn your handlebars left to right and it would sort of ratchet its way around till it was facing 180 degrees and down the road in the correct direction of, that you wanted to travel so that was pretty surprising and it would have been nice to know that prior to that little uh, predicament but I do feel a lot more confident in going out but I'll still be doing little reconnoiters on my missions anyway guys thanks heaps for watching we'll cut it there I reckon a lot more scoop videos to come got some Hobie videos out in the Hobie Island and a few boating videos Alrighty. Uh, it looks like we're gonna survive today guys uh...